Hey, what's up, friends? This is Arun, and welcome to my channel for Squishion. Today, I will teach you how to trace uh, realistic shadows. You can see the image that uh, you can see uh, very nice, clean shadows are there. Suppose I have cut down this image, cut out. Uh, if I enable this mask, then you can see uh, I have cut out this person from the background. If I use this uh, person any uh, to my manipulation. so main challenge is creating realistic shadows so i will teach you how to uh, trace these shadows to make it more realistic so enable it and make a new layer and uh, uh, most of the time i press control 0 this is uh, fit this document on my canvas okay right and i will fill this Mm, with any color so that i can trace the shadows and uh, control t to transform it and uh, i will make it small and uh, in this direction i want okay uh so here is a very special trick uh, firstly you have to make a new copy by pressing control j okay now we have two layers uh i will use this bottom layer for the shadows and i will use this top layer for using this person so right so delete this mask i will delete this mask and set its blending mode to multiply this is right and uh, uh, you can see uh, most of the time i follow non destructive way to make manipulation this is very necessary i will make a separate uh, lesson for this what is destructive and non destructive way to work with the manipulation so right uh, uh this is my shadows i will use this layer for my shadows uh, go to this uh, adjustment layer then we have saturation i want to clip this hue and saturation to this layer clip means uh if i uh, reduce uh, suppose uh, mm, if i do something in this layer and uh, the effect will i will got on these two layers so i don't want this because i want effect of this layer only to this so i have to clip it right click on there then uh, i want to create clipping mask so then you can see a down arrow is coming so now the effect will restrict it to the to this layer okay now we will click on there and i want to reduce the saturation right and set its blending mode to multiply that i have already set and uh, active this layer okay now select this layer and make a mask choose any soft brush and uh, this is my brush increase its size by pressing backward on the keyboard uh, even you can increase the size from here also mm, increase opacity flow now remove the unwanted area that you don't want okay this is very fine okay now you can see i am creating tracing this shadows okay now i will go to adjustment layer and uh, i want to reduce this gray tone from here so it is all about contrast i will adjust the contrast of this gray tone by using this level now you can see that if i uh make a adjustment layer and it is automatically uh, as a clipping mask so suppose uh if i remove this if i do some work on this that you can see the effect is uh, coming through all over the layers even this layer so again i want this effect to this layer right click on there 
create clipping mask now i have restricted this effect to this layer okay now my aim is to make it wide so i will reduce you can see white okay even you can reduce the opacity little bit of opacity okay now again come to this layer in manipulation uh, when you don't have the realistic shadow then it looks fake so shadows are very important part in the manipulation work okay now as i got it okay now select this layer again reduce the opacity so manually i will delete this uh this is my mask and i will apply here okay very nicely i removing it even i can increase its value okay this is very fine now you can see i have traced a realistic shadow this is without shadow and this is with shadow okay one important thing um, if you uh, if you if you want to create a very deep dark shadows then you can create it manually even uh, again make a new layer and uh, choose your brush i want this soft brush uh, i will try this brush using this 35 opacity make it zoom if you scroll the mouse center button then you can control z i will press x on the keyboard to exchange the color in between this color palette and d for default d for default and x for exchange okay this is i want black brush okay okay now you can see i am creating very deep dark shadows and the rest is depend on the work depend on the overall look of the project okay now you can see very nice very realistic result is coming right click on the go to blending options i will make it more realistic okay now you can see the overall effect is a uh, uh, very nice deep shadows uh, even you can trace the shadows by using this method this method is fix uh, make two layers and uh, set its blending mode to multiply then apply this level hue and saturation to make it more realistic suppose i want to use this uh, overall project to anywhere uh, i will select all theirs select this layer and press shift on the keyboard then select this last layer then you will select all layers select this move tool make sure you have selected the all layers from the canvas drag these layers to this okay now you can see that i am getting very nice realistic shadows go to edit and transform i will transform it control t to make it large now you can see the shadows this is without the shadows and this is with the shadows so shadows are very important part in the manipulation so it makes uh, manipulation more realistic so i hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, keep in touch with the